Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. Today we're going to cover the Melodist feature in Ban in a Box 2024. If you're using an earlier version of Ban in a Box, this tutorial can still help, but as the Melodist window was rearranged for the 2024 version, you'd be best off watching our older tutorial. I'll add a link to that in the description. The Melodist is a very powerful feature for quick and easy song creation. Feel like composing a brand new song? Using the Melodist feature, you can compose a new song in the style of your choice, complete with intro, chords, melody, and arrangement. All you have to do is choose from one of the many Melodists available and press the OK button. The program will then create the song in any given style. Once the song is generated, the chords and melody are part of the regular Band in a Box tracks and as such can be edited, printed, saved as MIDI files, or otherwise treated like any other BB track. If you already have a song in progress, the Melodist can also generate a melody over an existing chord progression, or create chord progressions for parts of your song if desired. In addition, a Melodist jukebox mode creates and performs new compositions in succession. Besides the compositional advantages of the Melodist, utilizing this feature can also be a powerful practicing aid for improving your sight reading and improving your ear by playing along with the chord progressions in the generated songs using the ear training window. To open the Melodist, press the Melodist button in the Tracks toolbar, or press Shift F5. Alternatively, you can use the new Multi-Picker, however it works a little differently than the main Melodist window. I'll explain that later in the video. This is the main Melodist window. There's a lot going on here, however the simplest way to use the Melodist is to double-click on a Melodist. That will automatically generate a song for you and play it. If you don't want to juggle a zillion different options, you can stop here. Nothing wrong with keeping it simple. Naturally though, the Melodist allows for endless tweaking. If you're so inclined, then keep on watching and let me break everything down for you. The left side of this screen displays the list of the Melodists available, including pop, swing, bossa, waltz, rock, bebop, and jazz ballad. Scroll down the list and pick the Melodist that you'd like to use. You can even double-click on the Melodist you like, and it will automatically generate a song with the selected options. Let's try that now and listen to a few examples. And that should give you a pretty good idea of what the Melodist can do. Moving on though, selecting the All checkbox displays all available Melodists, or they can be filtered by genre. To do that, deselect the All checkbox, then select the genre you want from the drop-down menu to the right. With the Show if NA option, you can also filter to show or not show Melodists from Melodist sets that you don't have. This can be a handy way of seeing the content available in other Band in a Box packages. The Fave button allows you to pick a Melodist that you've used recently. This keeps track of the last 50 Melodists that you've used, so you can easily recall them. Simply highlight the Melodist you want to use, and press the OK button, or double-click on the Melodist you want to use. 
You can also search for a Melodist by clicking on the search button and typing in part of a Melodist name, memo, style name, or other text associated with a Melodist. This will cause the Melodist selection to change to the next item containing this text. If you know the number of the Melodist you want, you can go directly to it by typing a number into this box, then clicking the Go To Number button. Moving to the right, the Memo area displays a memo for the current Melodist, as well as the name of the database used for that Melodist. The information in this box is searchable using the previously mentioned search function. The section below the memo allows you to choose which instrument to use for the melody. Melodists can store patch and harmony settings, and these are displayed in this section. You can choose a different instrument from the drop-down menu, or you can click the Choose One button to display a list of popular options, including their typical note range. Below the instrument selector, you can also choose various harmony options. This will add harmonies to the melody. Below the harmony selector is the style selector. By default, melodists use real styles instead of MIDI styles, but if you prefer the MIDI styles, disable the Use Real Styles checkbox. This will automatically choose an appropriate MIDI style, but if you want to choose a specific style, click the Choose To button, then navigate to the style of your choice. Below the style selection, you can also set the instrument to change at various places in the song. This can be done at every chorus, every part marker, every substyle change, or every 4, 8, 16, and 32 bars. Moving on to the next section, the chords and or melody section allows you to choose what will be generated. You can choose whether or not to generate chords, an intro, bass pedals, song titles, a MIDI melody, solos, or style changes. Most of this is self-explanatory, however I'll briefly explain some of these options. The Insert Bass Pedals option will generate a pedal bass figure that will be inserted during the intro and at the end of sections. The Allow Style Change option allows a melodist to load in an associated style. If you don't want melodists to change the current style that you have loaded, deselect this option. Below this, the convenient preset buttons will automatically set the appropriate settings to popular presets. The chords and mel button will set the checkboxes to generate chords and melody, but no solos. The all button will generate chords, melody, and solos. The chords button sets the option to generate chords only, no melody, and no solos. The melody button will set the options to generate a melody over an existing chord progression. On the right side of this section, there is a Reharmonist button. Clicking that opens the Reharmonist dialog, which allows you to generate new chords for an existing melody. To use the Reharmonist, you'll need to have an existing melody on either the melody track or the soloist track. This melody can come from wherever you like. It can be entered through notation, imported from a MIDI file, or played in with a MIDI keyboard. Once you've got the settings in this window set up how you like, click on OK Reharmonize. Below the Reharmonist button are a few kill buttons. These will delete parts of the song that the melodist generates. For example, if you generated a song, but you accidentally left the Generate Intro checked, you can use the Kill Intro button to remove the intro without having to regenerate the entire song again. Below this section are some fairly self-explanatory controls. The tempo setting determines the tempo of the song and defaults to the current tempo of the song. If Auto Tempo is checked, the tempo will be set at the tempo range stored within that melodist. For example, this melodist is called Bossa Slow 16ths, meaning the song would be generated at a slow tempo if the auto tempo option is set. Number of choruses determines how many choruses of the song form are to be generated. This is the jazz definition of chorus, meaning to play through the chords once. For example, if set to 5, the melodist will generate 5 choruses, enough for an intro chorus, ending chorus, and 3 middle choruses. 
This setting defaults to the number of choruses present in the current song. The form selection box allows you to choose between a song generated with a specific form or free form. The song form refers to the pattern that the verse and chorus repeat. An AABA32 bar form has four sections of eight bars each. The A section is the verse, and the B is the chorus, or bridge, of the song. This is the most popular song form. As a tip, some melodists may use 64 bars. For example, melodist number 18, swing 64 bar Cole P. If you prefer for the song to have no form, you could set the song to no form. This wouldn't be a very musical setting, but might be useful for practicing or ear training. Let's try this now and see how it sounds. As you can hear, it is a bit odd not having the structure to the song, however it still does work. Anyway, moving on, the A2 transpose option allows for the second A section to be transposed. In songs with an AABA form, it is common for the second A section to be transposed. For example, the first A section might be in the key of E-flat, and the second would be transposed up to the key of G-flat. Melodists store these settings, and some melodists are set to transpose the A2 sections. If you don't want to allow melodists to transpose the form in this way, set the A2 transpose to none. If you set to section plus, it will transpose the A2 section, and may also transpose two bars early or two bars late. If you have set the melodist to generate part of the song, you may choose to generate only bars 5 and 6 of the song form in the A section of an AABA form. Normally, you would want this regenerated section to be repeated throughout the form in all of the A sections. The Replace Through Form option will instruct the melodist to copy the generated bars 5 and 6 to the other A sections, which would be bars 13 and 14 and bars 29 and 30. Below this allows you to select which track to write the melody to. Usually the melodist is written to the melody track. If you prefer the melody to be written to the soloist track, perhaps as a counter melody, then change this setting to soloist. To the right of the chords and melody section, there are controls to select how much of the song to generate. Full song generates the entire song, of course, but if you just want to generate part of the song, let's say for a verse or a bridge, you can choose part of song then specify the range you want to use. In addition, if you highlight the range you want to generate in the chord window, opening the Melodist will automatically set the range for you. Keep in mind that selecting part of song will automatically disable some of the options here, such as generating an intro or choosing the number of choruses. The key area determines the key for the song. If set to any key, the program will randomly pick a key for the song weighted more heavily towards the popular keys like C or F. Min key percentage determines what percentage of songs are generated in minor keys versus major keys. If set to 20, then 20% 20 of the songs would be generated in minor keys. The Melodist Jukebox allows you to continuously generate new songs and play them in jukebox fashion. Using the From and To setting, you can set the range of melodists to include in the jukebox or keep the jukebox on the same melodist by deselecting Change Melodists. Simply click on Juke Songs Now to launch the Melodist Jukebox.
At the bottom of the window, the defaults button sets the Melodist back to its default settings. Be careful though, as there's no way to undo this. Cancel of course closes the Melodist, and the Help button opens the Help window. I'll come back to this Edit button here later. Once you've got everything set up how you'd like, click OK. The Melodist will generate the chords and melody for your song, then automatically play the song for you. You can repeat this as many times as you like to generate new songs or parts of songs. Now that about covers the basics of the main Melodist window. However, if it still feels too daunting for you, there's a simplified version in the new multi-picker. To open the multi-picker, click on the multi-picker button in the tracks toolbar. Today we want the Melodist section here. If you're already familiar with using the style picker, the multi-picker is very similar. In the top left, there's a filter section where you can type in keywords to filter the list by, or you can filter by genre, instrument, or other filter categories. You can use multiple filters to help narrow things down. For example, you can filter by genre and tempo simultaneously. The best filter category lets you quickly choose the best melodist for your song. For example, you can easily find a melodist to fit a popular song, or see the best substitutes for the selected melodist, the best melodist for the current style, or individually set the genre, time signature, feel, and tempo to match the current style. In this window, double-clicking on a melodist will play a pre-made demo, which can be stopped by the stop button here. The green play button plays your chord sheet. To the left of those, the generate button will generate the selected melodist, while the part gen button lets you specify parts of the song to generate a melodist for. To the right, the demo button plays the pre-made demo of the selected melodist, and the plus button allows you to change some options for the demo. Below this, the settings button lets you choose what parts of the song to generate, and the defaults button sets the picker back to default settings. Right-clicking on a melodist gives you the option to set it as a favorite, edit the favorite list, and various other things. Once you've made your selection and generated your song, use the X in the upper right to close the multi-picker. Now most of you can stop here, as you've now learned everything you really need to know about the Melodist. However, if you'd like to create your own Melodists, permanently change the settings of existing Melodists, or if you just want to see what's under the hood, press the Edit button at the bottom to launch the Melodist Maker. In addition to the Melodist supplied with Bandabox, this editor allows you to edit or create your own Melodists. You can choose the parameters to control the types of chords, melody, and intro to be generated, as well as a number of settings controlling song form, theme continuity, endings type, anticipations, feel, style, harmony, soloist, patch changes, and more. The num selection box allows you to select the melodist that you'd like to edit. To create your own melodists, scroll to the bottom to see a bunch of unnamed melodists. The box to the right of this allows you to set the title of the melodist, and the box below allows you to write a memo. Working down the left side, you can set the feel of the melodist using this drop-down menu. Below that lets you select the associated ST2 database for the melodist. Some ST2 melodist databases are Mel1, which is jazz swing, eighth notes, Mel Pop 1, which is pop ballads, sixteenth notes, Mel Waltz 1, which is waltzes, 8th notes, and Mel Rock 1, which is rock, 8th notes. As a tip, soloist databases also have the extension of ST2, but they are not compatible with Melodists. Melodist databases are easily identified as they all begin with Mel. The patch change area allows you to select an instrument and harmony, and how often to change instruments. In the Change Style section, you can choose a style for the Melodist and specify the feel for the style. Legato Boost Percentage changes the legato or length of the notes generated. Instruments like saxophone have longer legato phrasing. 
Increased lateness refers to how much after the beat the notes are played. This is normally left at zero. Negative values shift the notes before the beat. Increased eighth note spacing is usually left at zero. If set to a non-zero value, the eighth notes will be farther apart, based on units of 120 pulses per quarter note. Increase velocity allows you to increase or decrease the velocity of generated notes. Higher velocities are typically louder. The settings on the right side allow you to select options that control what type of melody will be generated. I'll explain what each option does. Unique themes. This is normally left at 100%, but if you want to force the melodist to stick with the same theme throughout the song, set this to a lower value. It shouldn't be set much lower than 80. Unusual placed phrasing. The melodist tries to make phrases that are appropriate for the position in the song. For example, the first two bars of the melody are appropriate for opening phrases. But if you want to experiment with phrases that don't follow these rules, set the unusual placed phrasing to a value higher than 0%. Simple first and second endings. This setting only applies to melodists that are using the Jazz Swing Mel1 or Waltz Mel Waltz1 databases. This determines the percentage of time that endings of the A section in AABA forms will be simple endings of one or two notes instead of complete phrases. Usually AABA tunes end with simple phrases at the end of the A section, so this option is normally left at 80% or higher. Choose unusual chord progressions. If set to a value other than zero, the melodist will generate atypical chord progressions. For example, instead of a D minor seven to G seven to C major seven, the melodist might generate a D minor seven to D flat seven to C major seven to A minor seven. Force long phrases. This determines the percentage of time that the melodist will try to generate long phrases of four bars or more. This setting shouldn't be set much higher than 20%, as it can result in a loss of uniqueness in the phrases generated. Mix minor and major progressions. Typical major key chord progressions have progressions like, in the key of C, D minor 7 to G7 to C major 7, whereas in the key of A minor, they would be B minor 7 flat 5 to E7 to A minor 6. This setting determines how much the two types of progressions should be mixed in a single song. Chord substitutions throughout form. Normally, an AABA song has identical chords for each A section. If this setting is greater than zero, the melodist will generate chord substitutions throughout the various A sections while preserving the identical melodies. Number of variations to choose from. As the melodist is determining what type of phrase to generate, it will narrow the possibilities to the number of variations set in this variable. Setting a higher number results in more interesting melodies, but the chord progressions are more unusual. Tempo range. This setting determines the tempo range that the tune will be created with, randomly selected from this range. This can be overridden later by unchecking the auto tempo setting on the main melodist screen. Transpose A2 section. In songs with an AABA form, it is common for the second A section to be transposed. For example, the first A section might be in the key of E flat, and the second would be transposed up to the key of G flat. This setting determines the percentage chance that the song will be generated with a transposed A2. This will usually be two to four semitones. Again, this can be overridden later in the main melodist screen. Anticipation in phrases. Melodic phrases often begin a little before the beat. This is referred to as anticipation. This setting determines what percentage of the phrases will be anticipated. Generate 64 bar form. This generates the song in 64 bar AABA form, where each section is 16 bars instead of eight. This is handy for faster tempos. Melody note range. This determines the highest and lowest notes that will be used in the melody. Middle C is note number 60. Always use this soloist. Since melodists can also generate solos, a specific soloist can be set in this setting. If set to zero, no soloist, the program will intelligently make a selection from all of the soloists in the list. Copy and paste can be used to make new melodists that are variations of each other. Simply choose a melodist to copy in the upper left, Click Copy, 
then choose a melodist to overwrite, and click Paste. Export and Import allow you to export individual melodists as .m1 files. This is useful if you want to send a melodist to a friend. The Save As button lets you save the entire melodist file with up to 256 melodists. The default melodists file is saved every time the OK button is pressed, so you don't need to explicitly save this file unless you want to save alternate mel files or go beyond 256 melodists. Clicking OK saves the melodists file, while clicking Cancel closes the window without saving. And naturally, the Help button opens the Help window on this topic. And that wraps up this tutorial. Hopefully, like me, you've learned a lot along the way. However, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact our tech support team either through email, our online chat system, or by phone. Anyway, thanks for watching, and as always, have fun!